I do a lot of traveling and I realized that I've never done a pack with me video and so today I want to share with you my planning process that starts weeks if not months before traveling day what I pack of course in the outfits that I wear while I'm there there are a couple things that I take into consideration before sitting down and planning my outfits which I will talk about it in a little bit I like to plan my outfits by activity so that whatever I'm wearing allows me to be comfortable while performing those activities. The last thing I want while on vacation is to worry about how uncomfortable I am in my outfits instead of enjoying the moment. I then go to look for outfits inspiration, whether it's from Pinterest, by searching outfits idea for the season, looking at previous spin ideas in my fashion folder, or even go through my Instagram grid for outfits that I have worn in the past and I felt comfortable and confident in you can also use your saved photos on your phone if you don't post on social media or if you don't have one a couple of things i like to consider before or while planning my outfits are the weather hey siri what's the weather like it's currently clear and 66 degrees in rome italy aside for the actual temperatures is it going to be rainy cloudy humid etc the location is it in the country a city or both and last but not least culture what are some things that are seen culturally inappropriate to wear wherever you're going? Once I'm done looking at outfit inspiration, I like to make a mood board. And this might be me being extra so you don't have to do this step if you don't want to. But I like to break down the outfits by similar pieces from the internet to those that I already have in my wardrobe. So that I can physically see and I can mix and match these pieces with each other to maximize my travel capsule wardrobe. I then save it and go to my closet to pick up these pieces and I place them in a clothing rack. You can use the chair if you don't have one or your bed, whatever works for you. I have one so I'm using it to hang all of my pieces. I think it's very important to try your clothes on and I learned that from my mom. I saw her growing up always separating her clothes or her outfit the night before she wore it just to make sure that it looked just the way she wanted. A lot of times what we see on somebody else does not necessarily translate to how we look on us, especially if we don't have the same exact pieces from our Insta photos. As you try things on, you can either take pictures of your outfits or if you have a very similar photo Insta saved on your phone, that works as well. That way you can look back at them before getting ready while on vacation. Now that I'm done trying things on, I need to go through everything, leave what I'm packing in the bed and put everything else back where it goes. I am folding these pieces so that I can put them in packing cubes and then in my suitcase. I have been using packing cubes for years and I find it so convenient when it comes to keeping everything nice and organized and very practical when searching for specific items. It's like having traveling drawers. I recently replaced the cubes that I have been using for years and I love these because they are made in a sustainable material and though I didn't get enough to pack all of my belongings, I do plan ordering more in the future because these are high quality cubes and I find them aesthetically pleasing and that is something that I value. I usually keep my cubes organized in categories like tops with tops and pants and skirts in a separate cube but because I am sharing a carry-on with Kyle, I am packing a few outfits in one cube in case the bag that we are checking in gets lost, we at least have a couple of outfits and our main things with us to get by. Once we arrive to Italy though, I will rearrange my clothes to be divided by category, I just prefer it that way. Speaking of luggage, we usually just take a carry-on each, especially for short trips, however, this trip is a little longer than our usual one-week trip. We are bringing winter gear because we will be spending the majority of our time outdoors in the middle of fall. And lastly, we do plan on doing some shopping for our home, so we are going to need that extra space to bring those things back. So we decided to share a carry-on and check one bag. My carry-on is a standard size carry-on. They are smaller and larger than this, but we find this size works perfect for us. This check-in bag is also a standard size one. We do have a larger bag we could take, but we will be taking trains to transport from city to city. And so this one is a size that we feel comfortable to be pushing around. For my personal item, I am bringing a medium sized backpack, which is big enough to bring my 15 inch laptop inside its cover. This velvet cosmetic bag I use for all of my smaller electronics, my sunglasses, and the only handbag I am bringing on this trip. Now let me show you everything else I'm packing. Four sweaters, three t-shirts for layering and a tank, two turnecks, a blouse, a button-up, two pairs of denims, 
and I couldn't decide between these pants or this one, so I'm bringing both. These trousers that will also serve me as a loungewear, a pair of sassy shorts, and a dress. For outerwear, I am bringing my trench, which is also my raincoat, and my denim jacket. A couple of workout leggings with their tops, and a sweatshirt to wear over it. A pyjama set, a pair of gloves and a scarf, two hats, and tights. For shoes, I am bringing my high knee boots, my white sneakers, which will also be my workout shoes, and my Oxfords. I also wanted to show you my stimmer because I don't go anywhere without it. All the little but very important things I'm bringing are our passports and all the IDs, of course, can't forget those. US currency as well as their local currency, which we ordered a week ago through our banks, toiletries, makeup, a couple of extra necklaces, a belt, a swimsuit that I take to any vacation regardless of the season or the climate, a reading book and my clothes workbook, and if I forgot to show anything else, I'll be listed on my packing list, which I'll link down below. We're getting ready to catch a ride to the airport, and I wanted to show you my traveling outfit. I wanted something nice and comfortable. We are going to Europe, so it's a long flight, and we do want to sleep on the plane, so that when we get there, the jet lag is not as bad. The key to utilize space on your luggage, or if you want to pack light, is to wear you heaviest and bulkiest things, and that's what I'm doing. I'll link everything I can down below, and I'll see you in Italy.